Today is Sunday and I am here at the school getting everything ready for the first week of my You're probably wondering, is that in slow motion? And the answer is yes, because I am the world's best YouTuber. And uh, I recorded half of these in slow motion, so I'll be doing a lot of voiceovers. But luckily, a lot of the clips were usable, so today I'll be showing you all about my classroom reward store and setting it up. This is a prize drop I got on Amazon and it's linked in this video description. There is a smaller version as well, but I decided I would have four different ways that students could um, win rewards. One of them being my classroom store, which I was setting up today. I'm gonna have a monthly pizza party where they can get a ticket to that pizza party and come by on their way to lunch. They can get bean boozled, which is like my whammy. So not everything is a reward. But honestly, my students love getting bean boozled, so it's a whole lot of fun. And then the last one is the raffle. And I'm doing one big ticket item, and I took their suggestions on it, um, one to nine weeks. And that's for all four classes. So those are my four prize drops. They can earn a prize drop by being the gold medalist in my class. And if you guys watched The Price is Right like I did, especially when you were at home sick, as a child, this is just like Plinko. I love that it lights up, but I only let it light up when we're gonna use it, so it's not too distracting. And wherever that little orange puck lands is what they're earning. So in this one, it was the nine weeks raffle ticket. So they get a raffle ticket into the nine weeks, the big item, which we've talked about in class what we want it to be. I'm thinking a $50 gift card. Um, that way they get to choose, and so it's something anyone can find something that they want a gift card to or a Visa gift card. But I've got my classroom store and that's what I'm working on setting up today because not only can they get a prize out of that, but I'm also gonna have like daily things where if I see a group or a student going above and beyond, they could get something out of my classroom store. So unfortunately, a lot of these audio pieces are in slow motion but you get the picture. This is linked down in the description. And now let's set up my classroom store so we can kick it off tomorrow with going for the gold. So clearly I came up with the colors and what they mean. That could be totally different for you. It could be that like blue is 10 minutes of free time. It could be something that costs no money. Uh, within my classroom store, I have 10 free items. If you decide to do a prize drop or really anything, it doesn't have to cost this much money. They have a smaller version. Okay, at this point, I have to include the slow motion clips because it's just cracking me up. But they do have a smaller version on Amazon and you could also do a wish list. I actually used to use a uh, wheel of names on my smart board and I would put all of my prizes on there. And what I loved about it is it's digital and you can change it out any day and that's 100% free. Yesterday I went to Costco and the store and these are some of the most requested items. They wanted candy, they wanted sour candy. Uh, you know, obviously nerd ropes are really big. So I don't have all the bins I need, but I have enough and I can figure out the rest as uh, stuff comes in because not everything is here yet. So, let's get started. Also, are the containers completely unnecessary? Yes, but I am an organized boy. All right, so one of every item is gonna go in the store, so I'm gonna set those aside. I bought all of these boxes at uh, Costco. We do have a school account, but I wasn't buying it through a purchase order because this is on my dime. Um, but I make money off social media, so sometimes I do stuff. And I'm going to obviously post the wish list of things that I want to refill the store. 
If I had better planning, I would have done a donors choose or a GoFundMe, but I didn't, so here we are. I'm thinking I'm gonna put the extras up top instead of overloading this area, because that seems like a better idea. Okay, so Flaming Hot, Cheetos, Onions, oh, oh Limon, these are kind of like Takis. My students are gonna go nuts over this, but I also do need to get Takis, because if you teach middle school, you already know. Okay, before anybody says anything, I can already feel it in my bones that somebody is gonna say how unhealthy all this food is. And I totally agree, but this is what my students wanted. And I gave them student choice and their feedback to create what they wanted in the store. And I'm a middle school teacher. If, if they ate healthy food, I, know I could put apples and oranges in the store and they would eat it. I'd do that, <laughs> but that's not what they wanted. So I digress. Okay, so most of the items right now are food because everything I bought, I bought on Amazon yesterday and I have a wish list which you can go and click on if you want to see what my students wanted or you'd like to donate to my reward store. So some of the items will be coming in and those are like fidgets, toys, things that they wanted like stickers and whatnot. So I need another shelf and I'm gonna do like a little glass door but for now I'm just starting it tomorrow so it is what it is. For now. I'm curious to see what they choose first, to be honest. You always think that you know, and then you realize you have no clue. <laughs> now, I will say, luckily this time, I asked for their input, and so they said like sour candies, chips, sodas, and I asked them what types, but then of course, once I was at the store, I was kind of just trying to figure out what I thought they liked, just based on past experience what I see them eating in class. I do actually let students eat in class as long as they don't make a mess and they clean it up because I get hungry throughout the school day, they get hungry, and it's just not that deep. I need to fix these, but I've got some free passes that for now are going in these clear things. And I'm thinking maybe I'll put them behind um, and so it says Bean Boozle, like I went over before. They're all in here, but they're falling, so I gotta go fix that. Um, eventually, there will be a second shelf and a glass door, and all of these items are in the cabinet in overflow, so these will just stay here, and then I will get them out of the cabinet for them. So that's the plan for now. So my classroom reward store is stocked enough to start it off, so tomorrow we're gonna be doing Going for the Gold, my first gold medalist, and if you want more information on going for the gold, I have a YouTube video already on my channel all about it from a couple of years ago, and not much has changed. So I'll be updating you guys, showing you everything I'm adding this week. I will also try to follow along throughout the week for part two so that you can get a better idea of how I'm using the prize drop and anything that has changed with going for the gold and all of those fun things and everything I also learn, what students like, don't like, but remember, you can fund this through a donor's choose, GoFundMe, an Amazon or class tag wish list. You don't have to spend your money and rewards can be 100% free. So do what works for you and your students, but definitely involve them in the process and ask them what you'd like them to see because I did it as a warm up, and boy oh boy did it, I mean, their eyes lit up, they had the best ideas. So get their feedback and involve them. So. We're starting this tomorrow and like for part two. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have questions, drop them down below. And until next time, happy teaching and I'll see you in the classroom.